Rockwood 2503S here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a 2015 and a half model, and uh, you can instantly tell the difference. Uh, you know, there was a lot of mid-year updates that went through. Um, the uh, full body color package is an instant indicator. This is the new Sapphire package that uh, you can put on the mini light models. Now this is an optional package. It includes the full body um, oyster colored skin, the uh, uh, milk chocolate colored diamond plate up front, aluminum wheels, and the frameless bonded windows. Um, the, uh, you know, when you're looking at a mini light in this class, you're gonna figure out real quick why Rockwood is the number one selling ultralight travel trailer or fifth wheel for many consecutive years now. Uh, you get a little bit more for it. Uh, normally in lightweights, you don't get 30 pound propane tanks. This gives you 50% more dry camp time as opposed to standard 20s. You're gonna see a nicer uh, quality tongue jack on here, the power tongue jack. A lot of trailers have power tongue jacks, but uh, you get a little bit nicer one on here. It is kind of funny. You know, there is always an ABC choice, even something as simple as a tongue jack. The frameless windows in the sapphire package are cool because the seal is actually under the window pane, so not only do they look good, they actually do help fight a little bit of UV from reaching your seals. Now, construction to me is the number one reason Rockwoods are the best selling lightweight out there. A lot of trailers, lightweights, laminated, you can walk up to them, thump the sidewalls, but walk over to the sidewall of the slide out. You hear that? It sounds like a drum because that's fully laminated. The roof, the floor. The side walls, the rear wall, the front wall, every single um, exterior skin wall on this trailer is fully vacuum laminated. And if you need the, uh, the explanation, the differences between the three ways of putting fiberglass skin on a trailer, please call. It takes a little bit more time than I kind of have allotted here in this video. In short, vacuum lamination is the highest quality way to build a smooth skin trailer out there. Um, you'll notice nicer things again on, on a Rockwood, like if you look at your roof rain cover up here, it comes standard with a fantastic fan vent cover. That is there to allow you to keep your vent open and air flowing through your trailer even when it's uh, raining outside in some pretty decent conditions actually. Um, and it's the usability features that really set this apart. Uh, this does have a, a battery disconnect that's located right up by the, the battery in the front. Just a quick on-off switch is very easy to use. Um, now, notice too, the power awning on this thing. It's about 24 feet or something ridiculous like that. This is roughly a 25-foot box. You see the awning goes almost the entire length on both sides. And it covers both entry doors. Now, this camper does not have to have a second entry door in the back because of fire code. They do that for the user. And notice that they don't skimp and give you the teeny tiny little walk through it sideways kitty door in the back like some manufacturers will. They kind of cheat that and they use a cheaper, less expensive door. What's nice is this door goes straight to your rear bathroom. So you actually have a quick, easy way to cut down 50% of the foot traffic in your camper during the day. That'll cut down on the, uh, the cleaning you need to do tremendously. Um, these mini lights are equipped with an indoor outdoor TV. The entire TV is on a swing arm that slides down and locks into these slots plugs into these plugs down here and you have the ultimate outdoor tailgating station under a 20 what for 22 to 24 foot awning um, with a full outdoor grill station the grill comes standard with mini lights you're also going to ride on twin torsion axles which are rubber ride axles that simply stated tow better and turn easier when you're parking than leaf springs apparently we got a motorhome leaving Now, we, this, this is an incredibly popular model. We sell a bunch of these. Rockwood allows the option of not just different fabrics, but different woodworks. So here, we're looking at what's called willow and hickory wood. But keep in mind, that if the pictures look different, um, you know, the pictures might have the metropolitan or cherry interior, something like that. There, you know, this video is here to show you what a mini light is all about. You know, it, this video may differ slightly from the one you're taking home. Always double check our pictures and our listings. One of the biggest, best parts of the 2503 is just the sheer amount of storage. Now what's cool is this mega closet you're looking at right here. It's like bonus space because it's actually in the slide. The slide here encompasses both the kitchen as well as this big closet. So it gets three huge fixtures, the stove, the microwave, and this closet off the floor plan. Kind of one of the other passive benefits to that is all of the extra counter space that garners you. Now, We've expanded on that even further by adding the sink cover and you see the, the, uh, the flush mount glass top here on the stove top. That means this entire thing is giant usable counter space, 
and you'll see power outlets here and there in Rockwood so that you can always have uh, a way to power appliances. And look too at your, your construction on your drawers here. It's all full extension. Everything is full plywood boxing. You know, nothing is cheaper chins. I mean, case in point, I triple dog dare you to do that in virtually any other lightweight roof. You're just gonna, you'll punch the roof panel right out. You know, similar with your cabinetry, everything in here is totally made to last. You see that it's not, you don't see like 50 staples and big globs of glue holding this together. This is built like the cabinetry in your house. Um, right here, next to your uh, entryway, you do have uh, quick access to things like all of your lights and whatnot. Um, the, uh, the slide out, the awning controls, the water heater and gas or electric can be controlled right here. Um, now, here's another really cool thing. Lightweight trailers, especially this size, generally don't have central air, but this is a Rockwood. So you're going to see nicer things like central air in the roof, and that will help keep you cooler in the summer. Even if it's the same size AC unit, a central one is so much more efficient, it'll keep you cooler. Now, the TVs, uh, we've already stowed the TV away in the box. TV does come included with this. This is that swing arm I was telling you about. What's neat is it can turn to face anywhere in the living room, and if you want to take it outside, that's all there is to it. It just lifts right up off of there. And then when you take it outside, mount it right back in the matching um, slot, and you're done. Um, your stereo, all-in-one, AM, FM, CD, DVD, and Bluetooth enabled. You can sync your phone or Bluetooth devices to that to play music wirelessly. This new stereo, actually, in the 2015 and a half, also has a video input and an HDMI input. So if you have extra video devices, you can plug that in and watch it right here on your camper's TV as well. Um, you also have a handy charging station here for things like phones and tablets and, and anything like that. Um, U dinettes uh, not only add additional storage, and you can see the easy access storage drawers down here, but it does fold down into roughly a seven foot sleeper. And notice that this table is freestanding. If you want to take this table outside, use it like a picnic table, you have the freedom to do that. Um, I like the little spice right here, and this is actually still part of the slide out. So this slides in and out as well. Again, bonus storage space. Most lightweight trailers do not have a full two-door, six cubic foot refrigerator freezer, but again, this is a Rockwood. Most lightweights do not have full LED lighting standard, but again, this is a Rockwood. Uh, these trailers generally don't have Creative Breeze uh, fans. Again, this is a Rockwood. You kind of see the recurring trend here. Now, I love that right when you walk in the back door, you have extra closet space. Perfect spot just to have a towel on hand, you know, if you need to dry the grandkids off if they stay over for a night or something like that. And here's one of my favorite parts. One, this big rear bathroom gives you lots of room. Two people could actually move around in here if you need to, and you can get dressed without you know, smacking your head. I mean, fully extending my arm, I can't quite touch the shower. It's that big. But, notice I said shower, not tub. This has a fifth wheel corner shower, not a travel trailer tub. That, by the way, is the grill that you'll take home. That's the grill that goes outside. If you notice, though, um, this, here's a perfect spot to show you. See how thin that band is and how it gets bigger? This entire roof is domed or vaulted. That means extra headroom here in the shower, so tall people can actually use the shower without issue. Let me spin you around here real quick. I do like to point out, we do have a larger foot flush stool, not, uh, you know, just a, a normal centrifugal stool that you have to pull with your hand. And we have a, another huge closet back here. This could be used as wardrobe space, this could be a coat closet. If you want to hop in and out of the camper in the spring or the fall just to grab a jacket, that's the perfect spot. And look at all the extra storage space, counter space that we have here. Perfect room for lots of extra things like blow dryers and shavers, but we still have a medicine cabinet to get our toothpaste and floss and stuff like that out of the way. But the coolest part, the calling card of the 20, uh, what is this, 2503 S floor plan. <laughs> I've looked at a lot of trailers today. The numbers are mashing together is the front Murphy bed. This is two floor plans in one. During the day, we just have a bigger living room. You get all this extra walking entry space right here, so that if someone's sitting at the sofa with their legs crossed, uh, you know, they don't have to try to pick their feet up and do a little contortionist yoga just to let somebody through. Kind of like the movie theater. You don't have to do that here. But at night, and this is how easy this is, one hand, because I have one hand on the camera, I only have one hand to set up this bed. This is all the harder this is. 
bam, full walk around front queen bed. How cool is that? So this is truly two floor plans in one. You have a front queen bed you can walk around at night and during the day you have a front living room. What's awesome is this shaves about eight feet at least, eight to 10 feet off of the trailer. That's eight to 10 feet of weight, of construction, of labor, of just simple dollars you don't have to invest in. That's the coolest part about this one. It's so awesome that way. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.